Level Up Protocol. What's good, everybody? I am Trilla D. Back off my hiatus. I have been in the matrix pretty much for like two weeks. Haven't posted. Apologies to all my subscribers and friends here. Sunday, 1 p.m., I'll be back for my live stream. You guys, come join me Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time in North America. For those of you across the water, you might need to uh, Google to see what time that is for you. But come through. Everyone come through. Let's chat. Let's chop it up. Let me know how you guys are doing, what type of content you guys want to see. A lot of my videos that I've been doing lately has been off the suggestions of my subscribers. So today's vlog is about a very suitable topic in the time that I'm in right now and it's getting out of a rut and how to get back on track. What is a rut? The definition, the actual definition of it is a habit or pattern of behavior that's become dull and unproductive but it's hard to change. Now I've been in a little bit of a rut myself the past two weeks. It started with me just skipping a few workouts, then it kind of progressed into me eating a lot of junk food, not doing any vlogs, missing my live stream on Sunday. I'm not perfect. I have a lot of wisdom and knowledge probably because I've read a ton of books since I was like 13 years old. But this happens to all of us. We all get to the point sometimes where you just kind of fall off. And you know what I mean? It's hard to really pick yourself back up. You feel a little hopeless in, in a sense. I guess you could say that. We've all been here. I know that everyone goes through this. At least I think everyone goes through this. But what sparked it off for me was I've been having a noise issue in my condo where someone in one of the units above me had just been making a crazy amount of noise, moving some furniture around all day and all night, been keeping me up at night, messing with my sleep, and that's what kind of sparked it off for me. So luckily this issue has resolved itself. I've been dealing with condo management and all this crap. Living in a condo isn't always a great thing. Sometimes you have dickheads who live near you who just don't give a damn about anything and you just have to suck it up and deal with it i mean when i was smoking weed every condo i've lived in i've smoked inside the unit and i'm sure it bothered neighbors but again there's nothing they could do about it so i guess it's karma anyways how do you get out of a rut so when you're in this type of situation these are some steps that i have that can help you guys get out of it and get back on track with just leveling up and progressing in life the first thing i'll say is clean your living space and nine out of ten times this does this for me because I'll get in a rut or so every maybe three months or so, maybe every four months, sometimes every two months, but they happen to me, you know, they happen. So the first thing I'll do is clean my living space. And I'm talking about a deep clean of your living space. I'll clean everywhere, really. I'll clean my bathroom, my kitchen, my floors, my walls, my laundry, my bed sheets. I clean everything. It's something about the process of cleaning that's just therapeutic and it's like some type of metaphor how I'm cleaning my condo but I'm also cleaning up the crap out of my mind. And when I'm done and my condo is spotless and everything is clean, even myself too, I'll take a shower. You know what I mean? I'll wake up and take a shower right away as soon as I wake up and just extra clean myself, scrub myself. It's like I'm scrubbing away all the negativity from me and my condo and my home. And I feel so much better. And most of the time, that'll solve my issues right there. I'll be like, all right, let's get back to what needs to be done now. Let's do it. So that's the first step everyone can take. If you don't live on your own and you, you, you have your room, clean your room from head to toe. I'm talking about so clean that it looks like no one even lives there. Because anyone who knows me, they know most of the time they come to my place, my place is spotless. I'm not one of those dirt bags that lives in something that resembles a crack house you know what i mean cleanliness is godliness and it's the easiest rule to success i don't care what anyone has to say about that it's a fact so the next step you can do is make a to-do list as soon as you wake up now this list doesn't have to be crazy complex it could be super simple literally super simple like brush my teeth make my bed go do groceries or something like that these little to-do list stuff that you're writing down when you cross these out you could read about this it psychologically has an amazing effect on your brain it gives you a sense of accomplishment regardless of how big or small the task is you making these tasks and crossing them out every day is gonna make you feel accomplished and spark up that inspiration inside you that feeling of accomplishment is a great feeling to have it really pushes us towards being motivated and inspired so do this and it'll help the next step get out of the house go on some dates if you have problems with that go out with some friends go to the mall and just walk around by yourself and just get some energy from people get some fresh vibes out there and literally just get out of your whatever zone you're in mentally get out of your house just walk around the block a couple times you know what i mean literally get out of your house so wake up take a shower write your to-do list then get out the house being out the house i'm an extremely observant person I just notice different things in it and they inspire me certain times. You know what I mean? Like uh, a restaurant that 
has a whole bunch of people in the lineup for it will somehow just inspire me. I, I, I like to see people succeed. So I'm like, that restaurant's doing good. The owner is doing good there. Money's being made there. I need to make some money myself. And it all just inspires me. I don't know if you guys connect this or feel the same way, but it's something that works for me. Just getting out the house, even being around friends, you know what I mean? Just laughing and having a good time sometimes really helps spark up motivation and inspiration. Now, the last step you can take is a tricky one, but you have to just force yourself out of this rut. And that's what it took for me this time to get out of it. So for about a week and a half, I was just binging on fast food every single day, not working out, just sitting around, playing video games, watching Netflix. And I had to just force myself out of it. I'm like, okay, listen, no more video games, no more Netflix. I have things that need to be done and I'm gonna do them. I woke up a couple days ago, I forced myself to work out. You know what I mean? I booked some hot yoga classes because I knew I'd have to go to them if I booked them. And I just got back into it and it just broke me out of it. Being in a rut, it's like being frozen. The steps I've given you will help thaw this ice, but essentially you have to just break yourself out of this ice and can gain the momentum. You know, it's all about momentum. That's what keeps you from getting back into a rut also. It's like the quote that Albert Einstein had about momentum and moving. He said, life is like a bicycle. To keep your balance, you have to keep moving forward. You know what I mean? I don't want to get these quotes wrong because I know y'all going to roast me in the comments section. But it's very true. You have to keep moving. You have to keep moving in life in general to keep your balance. As soon as you start slowing down too much or start stopping, that's when things start to get off balance. That's when the bike starts to fall. And when the bike falls, it's not moving. And then it takes a lot to get the bike back up and start it up again. So I've said this in other vlogs, but it's really true. Once you start moving and doing things in life, just keep it moving. Keep it moving. And this is something that I'm very much so working on and getting better at nowadays, especially since I've quit weed, which I still haven't smoked, by the way. I know a lot of people are wondering if I'm low-key smoking. I have not smoked in over six months. Vlog about that coming soon. You have to just keep it moving. You really have to keep it moving in life. You know, if there's good days and there's bad days, there's happy days, there's sad days, there's super fulfilling days, and there's non-fulfilling days, but we have to keep it moving. So some tips also I'll give you guys to not get in a rut is keep track of your progress because there's a lot of times in life where we feel like we're not progressing. We feel like we're not going nowhere. We're not doing anything and we just feel like we're not moving forward in life at all. But what you need to do in those times is take a minute and actually look back and really look back and see how far you've come because maybe you haven't done any progress at all which is usually a conscious decision but most of the time you have made progress you're just being a little bit hard on yourself which i feel like i am a lot to myself for sure a lot of people say i'm hard on them but i'm just as hard as on myself as i am to others to be honest and what helped me with this rut too was looking back at my 2023 resolution slash goal list and there's goals on there that it's almost the end of February, middle of February, and I've accomplished these goals already. And it was extremely inspiring to me. I felt very inspired by the progress that I've made without even knowing it. It's like when you're working out in the gym, basically, they tell you to take pictures every week. And people who don't do this, they start to feel like they're plateauing or not progressing. But the thing is, it's just they see their body every day, so they don't even realize. So they feel discouraged. But if you take progress pictures and look back four, five, six, seven weeks, you'll be like, wow. I've lost a lot of fat or I've built a lot of muscle, right? And it's the same thing in life in general. Maybe I would say like journaling, keep a little journal every week or every couple of days. You know, I open it up, I just jot some notes down sometimes on how we're feeling, thoughts in my head, and I'll go back and read a week before or a month before or several months before to see where I'm at. And it just, it's inspiring. It's inspiring to know that I'm always moving forward. So that's it for this one, guys. This is how to get out of a rut and how to get back on track. Hopefully it helps you guys if you're feeling, you know, just stuck or frozen in the same place. Hopefully this will help you guys break free of that, thaw the ice, break out of that, you know what I mean? And just get back to leveling up. Because at the end of the day, we all got to keep it moving. We all got to keep progressing and rising. We can't be in the same place we were last week, last month, last year, last five years. You got to keep it moving financially, health-wise, emotionally, spiritually. We have to keep progressing and going up. And that's what I want from myself. And that's what I want from all of you guys at home. And that's it. Level Up Protocol. I'm Trilla D. Be your best self.